I walked outside one day and a man was standing there. He had a great big beard and lots and lots of hair. He said, won't you come down to the shore and join my jolly crew? We'll wander around the world beneath the skies of blue. We'll sail upon the seven seas, travel near and far. Take from the rich and give to the poor and say har, 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 har. Welcome to Boat Lab, episode five. We're going to make some small parts. First thing I want to show you is this little guy here, boat hook. It's nothing more or less than a five foot long painter's stick that you stick, you know, the roller frames on, and a garage hook. I drilled a three eighths inch hole into the end of it, and then just screwed this in and wrapped it with some electrical tape. Total cost, about nine dollars. I had gone to the marine store, and when I looked at sixty and eighty dollar boat hooks, I decided to go over to the home store instead. Another little trick that I came up with is uh, getting some color on it. I like that amber color. So I've got a poplar stick here, a piece of a dowel, and if you've ever worked with wood very much, you know that poplar and pine don't take stains very well. So do a little minor experiment here. I got some stain. It's a uh, golden pecan. It's a yellow stain. It doesn't do very much. So to get some color quick, I use shellac. Amber shellac. We'll do the other end of the stick. And I treat it like stain. A lot more color, a lot quicker. However, it's a little bit more difficult to work with than stains. You kind of have to keep rubbing on it until the color gets even. And that'll dry in like 30 minutes. But it's a lot better. And over that, sometimes I'll just stain plus the shellac. And if you want a little bit more color, you add a little bit more shellac. And it doesn't take very long to get you something pretty decent. So that was another one of my tricks. Of course, another trick is making messes. So that was one of the things I wanted to show you. I applied this technique to another part that I made. I had this problem in that the boom on the boat would lay right down on the back rail. Well, that wasn't acceptable because I had made so many other alterations that it was kind of like riding right on the uh, hatch. So I came up with this idea of a boom crutch. And my first one, I broke. The idea was dowels and cross it and set it up like that. I have a raised back rail so I can stick the dowels in underneath the rail. I'll show you some pictures of that. But that didn't work out too well because uh, I forgot about how high the garage door was because I keep the boat in the garage. So the first time I pulled the boat out of the garage, I broke it off. End of plan A. Plan B worked out a little better. But uh, I had the dowels too big, so I had to use a lot of sanding to get the dowels down to the size it would fit under the rails. And then I did this, and you'll notice these two are parallel. And when I put it on the boat, it didn't fit. And worse, the first time I backed the boat back into the garage after a launch, I forgot that the boat might not sit on the trailer exactly the same way, so I broke the second one on the way into the garage. Plan C. This time what I did was I fitted the dowels, and I left them dry, mounted it on the boat, and then I set the, do the dowels the way they're non-parallel way so it would accommodate the little bit of slope I got in the back. So you'll see these are not parallel, but they do work a lot better. There's also two positions to this. 
This is the high position, and then the low position. I use this for trailering when it's down low like that, and then when I launch the boat, if I'm not putting up the sail immediately, I do this and set it up high. I'll give you some pictures of that when we get there. In fact, I think we'll just throw those up on the screen right now so you can see that without the uh, boom crutch, it lays down on the rails. And then with uh, the boom crutch in the low position, I can put, uh, I can trailer it and keep everything up, you know, reasonably high. And then in the launch position, it's higher and it allows me to keep the boom out of my face until I decide to put up the sail. At which point you lift the sail, you just lift the boom off the crutch and toss this, uh, toss the whole rig right into the cabin. I do a lot of that toss into the cabin. You may be wondering about how I get this to work, dowel into dowel. I build a little jig for the drill press, and I'll show you some videos of that.
that's pretty much what I wanted to show you on this video. So thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. Take from the rich and give to the poor and say har, 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 har. We'll sail upon the seven seas, travel near and far. Scurvy dog. Take from the rich and give to the poor and say har, 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 har.